Well, there's this great mystery. Basically, you know, Jack and Kate and Hurley uh, show up back on the island, and uh, they have no idea uh, how they got off this plane that they were flying on. There's this big bright light. Suddenly, they're back on the island. Nobody else in the plane is around. Sun's not around. Ben's not around. Lapidus isn't around. All the other people from the plane aren't around. And they're basically wondering where they are. And then this bus drives up, uh, a Dharma bus that looks new, like it was just built, and Jin wearing a, a Dharma jumpsuit hops out. And that's all we know right now. So the, so the operative question is, how the hell did Jin join the Dharma Initiative? And we're about to answer that question in the next episode, which is called Le Fleur. Yeah, I mean, our, you know, our characters have been, um, our, our, our main characters got on this airplane and then they basically find themselves mysteriously uh, back on the island. They're not quite sure what happened. They don't know, they, kind of, they know where they are because they've been to this lagoon before, but they don't know when they are and they don't exactly know what's going on at all. And then um, Jin shows up and he's wearing a Dharma jumpsuit. And, you know, now the, the question becomes, you know, what, what does this mean for our characters? You know, where are they going to find themselves in the island's history? And more importantly, what are, you know, what are they going to do about it? I mean, they, they're certainly, they're, there's certainly a lot of complications that arise for the fact that they find themselves in a very unexpected place. You know, and the last time we saw Sawyer and Juliet and Faraday and, and Miles, Charlotte basically had just died. They're lowering John Locke into this well. Um, you know, we know what happens to Locke from that point on, but we don't know what happened to them. And that is, uh, that's where we're going to start the story off.